Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete, episode number 13. I'm your host, DIY Pete, out in Bozeman, Montana. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a map frame or a picture frame out of an old pallet. Here's a look at the pallet I used for this project. These are some of the boards that were harvested, and we use those to frame this 3D raised relief topo map of the state of Montana. I made the framed maps as a gift for my older brother from Minnesota, who just came out to visit. They turned out great, and he loved the gift. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the tools and supplies you'll need for today's project. You'll want to pick up a pallet, a jigsaw or sawzall, hammer and pry bar, table saw and miter saw, nailer and staple gun, I'd recommend a sealer from Minwax, and lastly, a 90 degree angle clamp is optional. And for today's show notes with a complete list of instructions, tools, and supplies, just head over to DIYP.com forward slash pallet frames. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The first step is to remove the boards from the pallet, and these boards are going to be used for the map frame or picture frame. To remove the boards, I use either a jigsaw or a sawzall, and I run it along the outside edges of the boards. Just make sure to watch out for any nails or metal obstructions. Then flip the pallet over to the other side and start removing the boards from there as well. The next step is to completely remove the boards from the actual frame of the pallet. And to do this, I use a hammer and a chisel. Make sure that you're wearing your safety equipment to do this. Have your gloves on, your ear protection, and also safety glasses. Just take your time and continue to remove all of them on both sides. Now take a look at your pallet boards to determine which ones you want to use. And then we're going to measure them for the inner part of the frame. I measured mine all to two and a half inches. I then ripped four boards, one for each side, down to two and a half inches using my table saw. Make sure you watch out for nails. I also cut four boards down to one inch wide. These were used as trim to give the frame some added dimension. Next I laid out the pieces to see how everything looked and you'll notice in this video that I'm actually building two map frames at the same time. One is of the whole state of Montana and the specific one that you see right now is of the region I live in. Now we can mark where we're going to want to make our angled cut and take it over to your miter saw and do a 45 degree angle. Once that's done, take it back to the map and make sure everything lines up so that it fits well on the corners. Move on to the next side and mark for your 45 degree angle and then go make the cut using your miter saw. After making each cut, I like to dry fit the boards together. This ensures that everything fits perfectly before you nail and glue it together. When I finished dry fitting all of the two and a half inch boards around the perimeter, I started to work on that trim piece that I added. The trim pieces were one inch wide and I mitered them at the corners on a 45 degree angle as well. I did all my measurements, made my cuts, and then dry fitted that trim around the entire perimeter as well. As soon as you're happy with the layout of the frame and when it fits your picture or map perfectly, then you can begin assembling the boards to each other. I like to run glue on one of the 45 degree angles and then I'll use a nail gun to attach each board. Continue moving around the frame and attach each corner using glue and nails. I used 18 gauge nails that were one and a half inches long to attach each corner. To help hold the boards together while attaching them using the nailer and to make the whole process a lot easier, I ended up buying a 90 degree corner jig. What this does is it squares the boards up to each other and it ensures that you have a tight fit at that corner. The next step is to add that one inch trim around the perimeter of your frame. And this is going to give your frame some dimension. It's going to cover up those newly cut edges so you don't have that newer looking wood that's exposed. And lastly, it's going to solidify the frame so that it's even stronger. Then attach some frame hanging hardware so you can hang the frame and the map or the picture to the wall. Now you can set the mat in from the back side to test and make sure that it fits. If you're deciding to frame a picture, I'd recommend running a router around the inside perimeter to create a rabbit 
or an inset so that you can set glass in and then the picture. And if you're planning on sealing or staining the wood, I'd recommend doing that now before the map is attached, so just take the map out and apply your finish. Then use a stapler to attach the map to the back side of the frame, and depending on what kind of wood you have, those staples might have a tough time going all the way in, so you can just use a hammer to pound those in the rest of the way if needed. And like I said, I'd recommend applying the sealer before you attach the map, but <laughs> I forgot, so what I'm doing is protecting the map with some cardboard and applying a water-based sealer from Minwax. It's a spray sealer. What I like about it is that it's super easy to apply, it dries quickly, it doesn't smell, and it keeps that natural color of the wood. After the sealer dried, I attached L brackets to each corner to strengthen the frame even more. I picked up a pack of four of these L brackets for about $2.50 at a local hardware store. To give this project a professional touch and to keep the dust out of the back, I used craft paper and masking tape to seal off the back of the frame. All right, thanks so much for tuning in to DIY Projects with Pete, episode number 13. For complete show notes, just head over to DIYPete.com forward slash palette frames. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash DIY Projects with Pete. I hope this video inspires you to create your own frame for your map or picture. So good luck, have fun, and cheers from Bozeman, Montana.